and <laughs> that was not what I intended to do. Hey, welcome to my channel. Well, this is a channel all about drones, but uh, I started to introduce RC cars on it a while ago and uh, Banggood sends me RC cars and a lot of the guys I fly FPV drones with all drive RC cars, but I don't have my own. I only have the ones that are sent to me for review. So I went to my local hobby shop and I said, give me a car that's perfect for me. I need something that drives in the water, in the snow, in the dirt, on pavement, can get smashed to pieces, goes extremely fast. And, uh, you know, it's just going to live and survive through everything. So they said, hey, check out this thing behind me. That's called the Traxxas Rustler 4x4 VXL. And it looks like this. Yes, I did get one. <laughs> it's right here. Look at the size of this thing. So this is my new RC car. I don't plan on buying any other ones because this thing here is a freaking expensive. But uh, yeah, I got this and uh, it goes like over 60 miles per hour. Not that I'm going to drive it that fast, but knowing me, I probably will. And I plan on having a lot of fun with the guys this summer. So when I'm out flying FPV drones and everybody breaks out their little RC cars, at least I can join in now. So what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to show you a quick unboxing. And then after I show you unboxing, I'm going to uh, take this car out in the snow in a parking lot and uh, go for my first spin. Maybe I'll put a GoPro up top so you can get some first person view of what it looks like. All right, here we go. And now quick unboxing of the Rustler 4x4 VXL brushless, well, RC friggin' monster size, fast driving car thing. Here we have all the contents that are in the box and you get the little quick start guide, all the instructions. You get some little risers, you get the little three-way tool, a bunch of other things. Uh, I haven't even opened this yet because I read all the instructions online. What else do you get? You get the actual little thing in your hand, controller. That seems so weird because they put the little wheel here. They do that on all the controllers. I don't know why, but I think it looks goofy. But that's just me because I'm coming from drones. Next, you actually have the car itself. It has a bit of weight to it. And uh, there it is. You can see underneath, it's pretty flat. It has one of these quick release covers. I read on the instructions that they actually made this car and all the plastic in it and the metal, of course, but uh, so that it survives in cold weather now. So in other words, when I drive it out in the winter here, which is like below freezing temperatures, the plastic will not become brittle and smash to pieces. They've actually fixed it for that. This is your Valenian, what do they call it? Valenion 3500 kV brushless motor. This thing here is super powerful and it can take a 3S battery because this here little uh, controller system the speed controller can actually handle a 3S LiPo battery. This is your communication system back here. And all of this stuff here is pretty much uh, waterproof. They actually say it's waterproof, but I'm sure if I dump this in the ocean, probably wouldn't be that waterproof. But uh, yeah, you can drive it out in the rain, you can drive it through water and there's no problem. I can set the preload. I can even put risers, uh, even take out, check out the tires. The tires smell like real rubber. These come off and you can replace them with slicks or other types of rubber. So you could have less grippy, more grippy, more speed, less speed. Oh, I forgot to mention back here, there's even a slipper clutch in that. So it's an aluminum slipper clutch. So the more speed I give it, you know, just like on a snowmobile or ATV, the slipper clutch is going to engage and you can actually adjust it, you know, for the slippage and a few other things. And you can do some pretty cool things. Same as there's a little pinion gear back here. It actually comes with a second pinion gear that you can put on. So you have one that has so many teeth on it and that's what's installed now. And that will let you go so fast. But if I want to go up to 60 miles per hour, I have to, uh, take this apart and put a different little pinion gear on there, which means that the rotation of the tires will be faster for the amount of rotation of this here actual motor. So you'll get up to a higher speed. You just lose a little bit of torque at the bottom end. And on the back, of course, you have your little wheelie bar because if you gun this thing and there's a lot of traction, it's going to do a wheelie. So you have to have something so it doesn't flip upside down. It also has the ability uh, for if it's upside down, it has the ability to write itself. You push some buttons and it will cause the uh, to whole car to rock back and forth and right itself and get back on its wheels. Now this entire frame is built for like smashing into things and taking lots of bumps, flying through the air, flips, landing sideways. It It's designed not to break. And the cool thing, the reason I did get this brand is because every hobby store I went in, that's all they had for parts on the wall. When I would look at the parts on the wall, they all had Traxxas parts. So no matter what you have, you can get parts for this here vehicle. So you can always rebuild it if something goes wrong. All right, I got this little rustler out here for its first 
ever drive outside. Now let me show you this. See this? <laughs> I have the wrong batteries for this. When I bought this thing, I asked the guy at the hobby shop what's the proper batteries. He sold me these 5,000 uh, milliamp batteries for Traxxas, but they're too big. So I've just got them strapped in here with straps that I would use on like a uh, FPV drone. So that's all I'm going to use here. I did order the proper battery, so they're coming. So these are 3S batteries, 5,000 milliamps. So that's basically full power, pretty much. I'm just going to tighten the battery in here. Now the battery, the way I have it, I wouldn't take this on any rough terrain because it's going to bounce all over the place. So it's just temporary for now. I have put a little GoPro uh, connector thing right there so I can attach a GoPro which I have one right here. A GoPro Hero 7 on here and on my head that's a GoPro Hero 6. And that's an Osmo Pocket over there that has a little bit of battery power left, almost out of battery power. This is the very first run of this here. Wow, what is it? The Rustler 4x4 VXL. Here we go. <laughs> wow, the GoPro survived. <laughs> okay. I know nothing about RC trucks. This is my first one or RC cars. So what do you expect but crash? Now I see why so many people have fun with these things. I'm not even going full speed here. You know what's really odd for a guy like me is that I fly FPV drones, but getting used to this right and left with this thing, it just feels a little awkward. All right, here we go. I'll try not to do wheelies. How's the brakes? You know, most people should start with a 2S battery, but since I'm used to flying quads with uh, 4S batteries or 6S batteries. It just seemed natural for me to go right up to 3S. So he's got plenty of power to drive on snow. No problem. Oh yeah, no problem there. Right in front of me, that's a wrap for a jump. And... <laughs> that was not what I intended to do. Well, it survived. Took a chunk of plastic out right there. Oh well. All right, so that's it. That was my first try of this here little Rustler 4x4 VXL. I didn't smash it up too bad. I'm sure in the summer I'm gonna smash it into all sorts of pieces and have to do all repairs, but that's the fun of owning one of these RC cars. And the more I smash it up, the more I'll learn about how everything works and uh, yeah, that's the fun of it. All right, thanks for watching this video. More videos are on the way, mostly drones, a little bit of RC cars, but uh, yeah, you'll see that in the future. So if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.